Welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna carry on Hogwarts Legacy today. Um It's been basically like twelve hours since I last Well, since I last played it, so I'm trying to remember what happened. We went into the um went into the cave for that ghost didn't we to find his body and that led us into and well it led us to some more pages from that book and we got told to bring the book back but i think the professor has gone off with it somewhere we can't do that until he returns so i think we're just gonna do side stuff until he does Let's get to it, shall we? 12pm. Oh, it's only been like 9, 10 hours since I last saved it. That's not too bad. Right. Oh, what was that? Right, there's an owl, oh, I can put the uh, things in the chest, can't I? Another house token for the house chest. That's it, I'm making good progress with those tokens. Uh, do I have to input some sort of code once I've put them in? This Dedalian <laughs> Keys challenge is coming along nicely. Right, three more. I have an itchy neck all of a sudden. Oh, uh... What can we do then? Quests. Uh, acquire and use a focus potion, acquire maxima and a durus potions and use them simultaneously. Ooh, flying class. I'll do that after. Let's go do this. That might unlock the broom for us. Uh, you acquire and use a focus potion. Right, have I got one of them? Visibility, endurance, maxima. I do not purchase a recipe from for focus potion from J. Pippin's potions. Cool. Rebellion. Who's making that noise? Man. I did read somewhere, um I don't know where the settings is, but if you You don't turn that off, apparently. Apparently that's really good to have. Reboot to apply changes. Value the system settings. Okay. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, well, let's carry on.
Out we go. Merlin's beard. I was in the midst of a lovely dream. I'm sorry. Or is it night time? Why do students always frown? Peeves should burn the castle. Let me also. Incendio. Okay. Oh, I've got. Oh, I've got more um things now. I've got a talent last time. So that means I can. All right, I'll put. No. That, that, that on there. I'll put that as red. Actually, I'll have that as blue. That can be... That's yellow usually. Why isn't it? Be them for now. You know what? Let's have that as... Let's have this as my basic, like, four coloured spells, I think. Oh, no. Oh, what the hell went wrong then? Right, I need to go to... Ooh. As a quest in the Great Hall. Uh, it appears Gareth Weasley wants to speak with me. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what he wants then, shall we? Wait for him. There he is. Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing Wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. Can't wait to see what you brew up. <laughs> you and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing whisbies is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them right. in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. <laughs> I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Uh... I'd be happy to. It sounds Why not? enough. And who wouldn't want to go to Honey Dukes? Ah, brilliant. Thank you. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. Descendium. Isn't this stealing? Are you asking me to steal from a shop? Goodness. It's not as if I'm asking you to rob Gringotts. Honey Dukes is more than enough, and I only need a few. It's a sweets ingredient. They won't be missed. Trust me. And someone buy them for you. Couldn't you have someone buy the dried billywigs things? They're not for sale, and you never know when the cellar's going to be locked. So, the reliable way in and out is through the secret entrance. I'll give it a try. 
I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. Okay. I'll need to get those dried billywigs things for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. A one-eyed witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find. That was... If I remember correctly, that was... This looks like the right statue. This one. Now, what was the password? Descendium. Descendium. Goodness. Who knew this was all down here? Lumos. A lift. Must be how I get down. Looks broken though. Uh oh. Um 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 Repair. Roll. Yes, that. That seems to have done the trick. It has indeed. Has it given me a chest? It has as well. Use. Oh, I'm like falling through the floor there. Ooh, this is castle that will never cease more of to what I need? Me. Health potions. It is. I think that's what we need for them. Uh, incendio. Incendio. Right, am I meant to put something on there? I think I may have. Where does this lead me to? Does it lead me to... Is this literally where I just came from? Bloody hell. Let me up first on my try. Don't have to get past this. Revelio. Levioso. Uh, Repair. And Levioso. Oh, don't mind me just falling to my death, almost. Is there full damage in this? I bloody hope not. Oh, that poor fish. Hey, you got free. Nice. Your gear slots are full. Okay. What useless junk can I get rid of? I'll get rid of greens, why not? They're not really worth 
拿去。Um, nothing in neckwear, nothing in gloats. There is a hat, apparently. Whatever that is. Right, open the chest again. What is what's the difference then? That doesn't have anything hang hmm. Something is getting in the way. Perhaps I should cast Accio to get that frame out of the way first. Accio. Ah. Levioso. That would do it. That did the trick. Thank you, game, for the in-game hint. Because I wouldn't have thought of to use that. Not one bit. This must be the way out. I need to find a way to open that gate. Done it. Revelio. Ooh, there's something there. Oh. I mean to jump over it. Why am I stuck? Nothing in there. Time to go in here then. Something smells sweet. It must be yeah. close to honey jukes. Revelio. Oh, there's multiple things. Oh, honey dukes exit. Hogsmeade, here I come. Revelio. Honey jukes. I can smell the chocolate. Now, where would I find the dried billywig stings for Gareth? Yes, where would I find it indeed? Oh, there they are. I have the dried billywig stings. Now back to Gareth. I can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out. Don't mind me, just invis walking through your shop. So could I. Um, where can I sell some stuff? Oh, I needed needed to go here for the potions one, right? 
Jay Pippins, yeah. So I need the recipe for the focus potion, I think it was. Ah, oh, put a cat. Hmm. We have everything a young student Ooh. might need when it comes to books. Have a good look around. J. Pippin's potions. J. Pippin's potions established in 1753. The apothecary in Hogsmeade where Proprietor Parry Pippins sells a wide variety of potions and their ingredients. Kind of already knew that. To what already. can I do for you today? Right. I need that. So. Buy my crap. Very good. Never hurts to keep my stocks replenished. Oh, no, that's better, apparently. I don't want... That does... Take this item... Take this to the room of requirement to reveal its qualities. Okay, I won't sell that one just yet, then. Right. Focus potion. A wise decision. Thank you. How much have I got? 700. He's only got three of them. Did, was it an er Edorus potion? I think. A wise decision. And Thank a you. Maxima potion. And I'll buy a I hope more health potion again. too. Farewell for now. Right. Let's get that quest up. See what it requires. Buy and use a focus potion. I don't have a focus potion, but Maxima and Edurus. Ah, I'm a stone statue now. Cool. Alright, time to go to Hogwarts. Uh, ah, potions classroom. Travel. I want to make a focus potion if I can, if I've got the items. That way I can get the assignment done too. Interact. Uh, focus potion. Luxweed stem and dug bog tongue. Well, I can't get that yet then. Oh, I can... I'll do that in between, but I will make another Maxima while well, there's anything in here while I wait. I hope you get to set up your own like potions table and whatnot. I hope that's what the, I think it's the rumor requirement allows you to. Because it would be nice to not farm one thing at a time and make one thing at a time. Handy resource time I have a Right. Uh, quest and track that one. Pleased 
Time to return to Gara. Still wonder what this is about. I need to know what them symbols mean first, I think. Uh, Why would anyone bother? Said I'd it's oh, I didn't read it properly, but it said I wouldn't couldn't imagine receiving a howler, especially during in front of everyone during the feast. That's a little hint to what Hello, Ron again. went through. Were you able to get to Honeydukes? Hello, Gareth. I have those dried billywigs things. You got them? Incredible. I did indeed. Here they are. Happy to help. Here you go. This is brilliant. Can't wait to get started. Thank you again. I'll let you know when I brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer. Fizzing whiz beer. Okay. It's got to be a way to access quests faster. Right, uh... I guess until I can get their ingredients, I can't do that. So I'm gonna go to Flying Glass. <clears throat> if it does give me access to the room, I can see what's under that bridge finally. If there's anything that is. I don't find potions there. That's where I assume is where the solution to that puzzle is, anyway. I'm hoping so. Who do you think will fall from their broom first? Begin. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Okay. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. Hello. The goal of today Hi. is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now, <laughs> let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. Practice? For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up. Thank you. Now, your turn. Hey. Up, 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 you stupid ratty school broom. Up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. All right, okay. Good. Now. For your first lesson, Up fly and down. each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. 
I want them returned in one piece. Wish I had my own broom. <laughs> this will take some getting used to. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized, there's a way room, to let's see move the camera with well. more advanced exercise, shall we? Okay. This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. Right there, you can. It's just. What a view! <laughs> Hello! Nice day for a flight! Ah, you can go faster. Ha! Good. I've got this. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced I haven't been there the yet. The first year. Kinda wish I could too. But oh well. Couldn't be out and couldn't be out. Whoa! Our aquatic hmm. resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <gasps> I wonder what that creature is. Ha! <laughs> this is rather fun. Kind of slow. <laughs> well done. Have a moment. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit Is he gonna give me a race? But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Gryffindor like you might be interested in a high-flying adventure? I like the sound of that. <sighs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. All right, okay. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? It is indeed. Ahead oh. of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Uh, burst of speed. Ha <laughs> ha! Now that's more like it. You sure you're not part Hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And it took a lot to blow it up too. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? It Fly is indeed. And a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. We're going to get in trouble for this, aren't we? That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Let's hurry back. Okie dokie. Looks like she's already dismissed class. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. How do I dismount? Oh, hold B. Cool. And where have you two been? Uh oh. <laughs> Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Damn. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor Enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you. 
You do well to use better judgment in the future. <laughs> Chin up. That was some rather good flying. My pretty cat sleeping right next to me. On my bed. <laughs> Sorry about that business with Kagawa. Oh, Just have right. to admit, those views were worth it. I have no gr no regrets. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. There we go. Perhaps after purchase a okay. broom then. If you can, mm -hmm. you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. <laughs> right. Flying class complete. Oh, I can talk to him again. If I could afford the new Bright Spark broom at Spintwitch's, I'd be on it now. Mm -hmm. Greetings. Who's that? Better than a few Spit which is open in Hogsmeade. All the latest dreams I hear. How did you fare? Oh. If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. Oh. I know a discreet place near there. That sounds interesting. Should we go, Shads? Yeah. Quests. Oh. Meet with Professor Weasley in the seventh room corridor. Speak with Harry Pippin. Isn't that the potions person? Yeah, let's go do that quickly. Oh, what was that button? Why to locate on map? Oh, that is very nice. Who's in it? Yeah. Mm hmm. You're not going to get off me now, are you? Does it get any more cozy? Hey. Corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. That must be the Room of Remembrance, or whatever it's called. Welcome. Requirements, not Remembrance. Any assistance at all. Talk. Uh, hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with a delivery. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with a delivery. Yes, I do. A you capable student such as yourself yourself. should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I oh, used no. to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning <laughs> every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. Oh, happy to help. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Was that a uh, hint at something? Wait, he gave me four and I've got to deliver three. Right, it, they did say something about a broom. I pressed the wrong button. A broom's shop, right? Uh, brood and peck. Ooh, there's a, uh... There's a thing there and a thing there. Oh, that's... That's the broom one. Cool. I am stuck. There we go. Oh, there's a cat I have to stroke. Oh. 
<laughs> I definitely prefer cats to any other pet. They just leave you alone when they don't want attention. Right. See what Pardon she wants. Me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. no, she wasn't. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine. Willetsy. Clementine. I was musing the precious butterflies oh. I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told we kind of are stories already. about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly, but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes. If That's you almost mind. a reference to follow the spiders. What did you hear about the forest? What were the horrible stories you were told about the Forbidden Forest? Oh, goodness, everything from students being mysteriously beheaded to terrifying spider dens. Oh, trust me, you hear that at 11 years old, it sticks with you. I'll think about it. Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. Okay. Oh, let's go. The butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the forbidden forest. Good luck. Okay. Let's go collect the broom quest as well. Because that's here too. Oh, it's only there. My mother used to say I was lazy. Oh, Rebellion. Nice. Wonderful. Spint Witch's sporting needs. What are you doing, cat? Oh, his whole body's twitching. Why is it twitching? Oh. That's what I was saying. Run by an um, amiable Albie Weeks. Weeks. Albie Weeks. This shop sells all manner of wizarding sporting goods, including latest broom models. Gossip around town is Albie himself is working on a number of broom enhancements. Very nice. Ooh, a chest. Don't mind if I do. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Oh, I guess that right. Nice. You came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? I am Got a few indeed. Got weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. What else can you share about brooms? Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? Oh, Ooh, there's a chest behind me. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. You weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the you one's darker reputation. Then you add the ember dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes oh, me I get to customize giddy. my own broom. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Disrupted trade routes made you close. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close, Spint Witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere. But you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back hey. to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. You know what? I'll have a look. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. How much are they? What are we looking for today? 600. Ah. 
I have nowhere near enough, so nice doing business with you. I am not picking that up just yet, then. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Oh, uh, let's equip the new stuff. Nope, I'm definitely upping the, uh, changing the look. And a new hat, which I cannot equip. Cool. Never mind. Uh, inventory. Right, before I forget, let's hand in the, um... Let's hand in the... Not a but of lies. Not a flight. That one. That's the one I'm looking for. Right. Oh, there's a bullet catch just outside this shop. Hmm. <laughs> it's not like I don't like other animals. It's just. I do prefer cats out of any, any others. I really do. 1800. Sometimes it seems right. the roads lead to Hogsmeade. That uh, is a world map location then. Right. So I'm probably going to have to go to there to get to it. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Still 800 meters away. Revelio. Ah, oh, it's only spiders. Actually, I need to defeat certain amount of spiders, don't I? Not my fault you're a deadly great spider. I got hit by one then. Oh, since when do health regen? There we go. Some more spiders done. Dealt with. Ooh. What does this symbol mean? Could it be? A Merlin trial. Oh, a Merlin trial. Um, that's what that. I won't do it yet. I'll do them later on. Ooh. Ash in their eggs. Definitely. Accio. Definitely could do with some of them. And some moonstone too. Collect. Few witches or wizards correctly trace the histories of Scotland's indigenous mazes back to their rightful source. The 15th century dark wizard known as Hunon Blackwood? I kind of want to say Hunon. Born Hunon Wood to a non-magical branch of the Wood family, Hunon was misunderstood by his muggle parents and in an effort to fit in, sought solace in the family trade hedge trimming. He could allegedly control the black thorn bushes with his mind, creating beautiful designs with ease. This both impressed and infuriated his rather intolerant family. Their resentment only worsened upon young Yunon's invitation to Hogwarts, where he was sorted into a Hufflepuff, Hufflepuff house. It was at Hogwarts that Yunon first met one 
Artemisia Black. It's owned by the Black family for our mother's dalliance with Artemisia's muggle father. The half-blood Artemisia's relationship with blood purity was a complex one. She considers herself worthy of her mother's maiden name and blamed her father for ostracization. I've never seen that word, like, written down, so I don't know how to pronounce that. At the same time, she did not fault Wood for his muggle parentage, but rather considered him to considered him to an unwilling, innocent victim of muggle impurity. Interesting. That's some moonstone for me. Oh, who's up there? I'll just run along the thing, I think. Shouldn't be take too long, right? There was materials by this the other Merlin oh, thing, so it's a pleasant surprise. That's some Mongols taken care of. Lumos. Oh, not the spell I wanted to do. Oh. I needed to defeat it with a uh, chomping. I'll try remember. Right, dueling feet done. Revelio. Search. Thank you very much. Sorry, sheep. For scaring you. Ooh, is that a shop? Is that art? On. I yes, it is. Thank you enough for all you did to get my carts returned to me. I've been painting. You're very welcome. Painting. Incredible how such darkness can inspire such beauty. Right, sell them for 200. More than happy to purchase that. Good to have stock, I always say. Oh, he's got moonstone, mallow sweet leaves, and dittany leaves. I don't need any dittany. Appreciate you stopping by. Uh, be sure to I've visit got way too much of that stuff. Okay, magical scarecrows. There's got to be a um, flu powder nearby, right? So don't have to run it every time. If I had enough for a broom, I'd be flying there, but... What was that? Uh, did that just pick up a cow? I think it did. That sand was a dragon. Fun. Thank you for the gold. Wonder who lives here. Right. Leave that pippin. Talk, Madame Luang. I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Oh, he did indeed. The corners and taken the easy way out. Did he have your brother for him as well? Doesn't matter. No. 
You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Why did you buy them then? Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. Here are the potions. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink so, it. I drink one. Of course. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. Right. Uh, that one. Look. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? <laughs> oh, you shouldn't have said that. Recipes and skills? <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. Can you tell me about your customers? You mentioned that more and more customers are trying to stay out of sight. Why? Well, I can't speak for all of them, but certainly my Ashwinder customers have their reasons. If I were you, I'd forget I heard that. Okay. Very well. Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. May I see you, please? What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? Alright, that's still the same price. I didn't need any of these, did I? Right. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. Oh. Is there no... Oh. Set waypoint. Go to that quickly first. What are you up to now? I know what that means. Merlin trial. And now I can fast travel 1900 to Hogsmeade. Uh, Hogsmeade camp, that one. And that one. Hogsmeade, here I come. Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? I delivered the potions to Fatima Lewang. I delivered Le the Wang? potions to Fatima Lewang. Le Very good. And yeah. uh, did she cause you any trouble? Uh, it was no problem. Nothing to worry about. I handled it. Glad to hear it. And thank you again for your help. That is why he gave me four. Thank you. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. Best of luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care. Hmm. Quest complete. A demanding delivery. I saw someone on my... Xbox friends list doing that quest earlier. I think that was the name of the quest. Either way, what next? Uh, no, I want to go into quests, don't I? Ooh, do I have enough for a broom yet? Inventory. Not inventory. 
here. 600, I have enough for a broom. Nice, let's go buy a broom. Ready, cat. All my friend passed it then. Now the question is, which one? to see you again. All of them are six hundred, right? Right, there is the preview beer. That item room. is of the highest quality. Right. You know what? That one looks that the best. That item is of the highest quality. So I think I'm going to go Ember Dash. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. Do you seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Oh, yes, please. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. Okay. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts Sounds student, interesting. Melda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, okay. I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? You took my Adam Kagawa's class? Sounds as if you took Kagawa's class. I did. But my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. <laughs> she thinks it fit in I run spint witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the Cannons or Puddlemere United. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I may be too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. Why am I the right person for this? Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your okay. room with talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. How did your passion for brooms begin? How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match, seeing flyers maneuver the way they do. Oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto something. Sounds worth a try, Mr. Weeks. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while, if I'm right. The new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Okay. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Cool. Right, I can't fly here. <sighs> I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm. Hmm. Oh, Rebellion. Did I not? Zonko's Junk Shop. Frequently, uh, frequented regularly by Hogwarts students and villagers alike, Zonko's is the place to buy pranks and jokes in Hogsmeade. Okay. Oop, there's a bloody cat. 